what's up welcome back to my channel yes i hope you guys enjoyed that intro i was literally so excited to show you guys if you haven't already checked my description box down below that uh logo whatever the, the at name is right there um if you go follow him on instagram he makes really cool intros i literally suggest you guys follow him he's really cool um and he's not a ripoff i've definitely tried to do this before and they literally scammed me out of ten dollars and i was so pissed so um this is definitely somebody like you can trust um this is the second intro that i've um, purchased from him and it was only $18 so definitely a suggestion for everybody but anyways for today's video we're going to be creating a fall look so yeah let's go ahead and get this video started okay so I've already primed my face so I'm just going to be picking up the Neutrogena Shine Control Makeup Tinted Deoxid Deoxide Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 20 in the shade 40 Nude um, I used this yesterday. Okay, we're gonna count how many times I say okay because we need to stop. <laughs> Are you okay? Um, I used the, I used this foundation yesterday and it works really good. So good. Like I don't have to touch my like touch up my face at all. And I found a new like um a new little trick that I like to do whenever I finish my makeup, so I'll definitely uh, show you guys what I'm talking about. Get your mirror. <laughs> now I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. And I'm just gonna blend it out. Okay, now for concealer, picking up the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. I've been obsessed with this concealer. I probably have used it in literally almost all my latest videos. <laughs> it is such a brightening concealer. Like, it makes such a difference. Okay, and now for setting powder, picking up the Airspun setting powder. Yes! And I'm just dipping my beauty blender and digging. Hi. Yes. Okay, guys, now I'm gonna dig into my brows. Yes, with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Powder in the shade Auburn. And I'm using the zoomed inside so we can see these bad boys up close. Let's get this started.
first impression You OPN We should be closer than friends If you OPN Engaging is on my agenda Request my chariot to get ya The door's OPN Take the hot road and hop in First impression You OPN We should be closer than friends If you OPN Engaging is on my agenda Request my chariot to get ya The door's OPN Take the hot road and hop in Monarch butterflies, you should open up I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up Going up and smoke, smoking up Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate The way she's approaching us, I disassociate Exfoliate, the renegotiate She's closing up, come to visit me She said that she the loneliest And it's hard to open up Monarch butterflies, you should open up I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up Going up and smoke, smoking up Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate The way she's approaching us, I disassociate Exfoliate, the renegotiate She's closing up, come to visit me She said that she the loneliest And it's hard to open up Open you up like a pokeball Open up Tear you out for a pokeball Let your emotions walk fall on me Open up Open up Okay, now I'm gonna define my eyebrows I'm gonna be picking up the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade fair 06 and i don't know if you guys remember when i first bought this concealer the little uh, uh brush thingy broke off of the lid so yeah don't mind me but i'm gonna be using this concealer because i really love how bright it makes my um under eyes look and i'm gonna drag it down to my eyes as well and we're gonna be using that as the eyeshadow primer I work Open up, you OPN, bitch you won't be BM, we should be closer than friends, if you OPN, engaging you's on my agenda, request my chariot to get ya, the door's OPN, take that hot road and hop in, you OPN, bitch you won't be BM, we should be closer than friends, if you OPN, Engaging you's on my agenda Request my chariot to get ya The door's OPN Take that hot road and hop in Open up Open up Shut it down like a bag of Open up Open up OPN OPN Cold as ice and cold Open up Open up, open up, shut it down like a bag of Open up, open up, open up, open up, cold as ice and cold love. Open up. Okay, so if you've watched my videos, you know that I love like a really light transition shade and with the eyeshadow palettes that I want to pick up today, um, there's not a really like a light shade. So I'm going to pick up the Morphe times Jeffree Star palette up real quick and I'm going to dip into Lynn, which is this really, really, really pretty light shade right here. before I continue with my eyes, the thing I started doing, instead of wiping away the setting powder on my forehead and on my chin, I'm just going to blend it in um, with my beauty blender. It sets my makeup really well and I don't ever have to touch up my face. And then as well, I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom half of my face that has nothing on it. I'm really excited about this look. I even FaceTimed my mom before this video just to make sure like the color scheme made sense and like what I wanted to do kind of made sense. And I'm hoping it'll come out the way I have it pictured in my head. Uh, let's see. So I guess I'm gonna pick up this big fluffy brush again. 
and I'm gonna pick up the Snow Angels Snow Angels uh, Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. This is the shade Cashmere. It's a really, really pretty light shade. And I'm just gonna blend it all over my lid. one eye first and then I'm gonna do the other one because I'm really nervous <laughs> I'm not nervous but like anxious and I'm hoping it comes out good so I'm gonna use the, the zoomed in side on my mirror I'm just doing step by step um just in case any of you like follow my tutorial or whatever I'm not saying like any of you do but I'm just saying just in case so I'm gonna dip into this really pretty like violet shade um from that same palette oops I'll swatch it for you guys. It's like a purpley red. Oh no, it's like a really purple shade. That's really pretty. And I'm going to dip into it with my Morphe M431. This is a really, really precise brush. And I'm dipping into Berry Cold. And I'm just going to be blending it into my crease right here. Literally just keeping it on the crease. Okay, now with that same fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend it out a little bit. Now I'm just going to apply a little bit more color because I accidentally like blended it out too much. And I'm just going to like pat it on. And I literally just put a little tiny amount on the brush. Okay, now I'm gonna be picking up the Crescential Thunder um, from Dominique Cosmetics. Yes. And I'm gonna be dipping into this really beautiful orange shade right here. This is in the shade Lunar Eclipse. And I'm gonna be blending it into the crease where I applied that really pretty um, purple shade and blending it on the outer corner and at least to the middle of my eye on the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to be picking up that Snow Angels palette up again and dipping back into that shade and I'm going to blend it into my eye ring. Okay, now these shades are really, really, really beautiful, but I really want to intensify the orange just to make it pop a little bit more. So I'm going to be picking up the ColourPop Orange You Glad palette. And I'm going to be picking up that same Morphe M431 and I'm going to dip into Mimosa Mommy and I'm going to mix it in with Sunkissed. Yes. Sorry, I was making sure I said the name right. Okay, now I'm going to be picking up this flatter brush and I'm dipping into Storm Dust, which is this like dark brown and I'm going to apply that on the bottom lash line. I really want to start. Um, I really want to start doing like pranks on my channel. So if you would like to see that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye real quick, and we're just gonna fast forward.
Okay, so as you guys can see, I already have both eyes done, and I was looking at my eyes, and I feel like, honestly, it's missing something. I really like the fact that it's, like, empty right here, but at the same time, it's missing. I, I feel like, no, like, it's not enough. So, I'm gonna pick up that brush that I used um, to blend... What did I use this for? I don't even remember. Whatever I used this for. And we're gonna pick up the ColourPop Setting Mist, and I'm gonna spray the brush... And then we're going to pick up that Crescential Thunder palette up again. And then I'm going to dip into Eternal Light, which is this beautiful shimmery shade. And I'm just going to apply it right here on my lid and then a little bit on the top. But it's just going to be just very little on the top, just so it looks... Definitely using my finger, but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I just don't want it to look like weird that it's just like glitter right here, you know what I mean? So I'm going to blend it up a little bit. Y'all don't mind my dog. He's like intensifyingly eating his little rawhide thingy I gave him. Now that I'm almost done with my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and finish off my face. We're going to be picking up the Mineral Fusion Bronzer in the shade Luster. And I'm just going to do like this, literally. I love this bronzer. It's one of my favorites. Okay, now before I forget, I'm gonna go ahead and do the and do the bottom lash line on this eye. Okay, now for mascara, picking up the milk mascara. Kush mas the milk Kush mascara. Sorry. Okay, for the bottom waterline, picking up the NYX Fox Whites in the shade Seashell. And now just finishing off the mascara. Okay, now I have this new Perfusion Cosmetics Pink Nudes 12 Colors Eye and Cheek Palette. And I'm going to be dipping into Blossom, which is this really beautiful blush shade right here. I've only used it once with, once with, why can't I talk? I've only used it once, which was yesterday. Um, but it looks pretty good. Look. And it doesn't take much at all. And I'm just like pat it. And then once I wipe away the setting powder, then I'll blend it through and then it looks beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to pick up a big fluffy brush and wipe away the setting powder as well as blending out the contour and the blush. Okay, now for a highlight, picking up the ColourPop highlight in the shade 
Flexitarian, Super Shock Cheek 19J1 with my Morphe E27 brush. Y'all, this is my favorite uh, highlight, and this is the first time I've actually said it correctly. And just with a Real Techniques brush, it's a little bit smaller, so I have a little bit more control of where the highlight goes. You know what I mean? So it's not like messy and crazy. Yeah. Okay, now for brows, picking up the Urban Decay Brow Finish just to set them in place and make sure these bad boys don't move, don't come off, anything like that. Because you know, we gotta keep our brows on. Okay, now to finish off my face, I'm going to spray um, the ColourPop Mist onto the Beauty Blender. And I like to spray like a good amount and then just like squeeze it and just like make sure it's not too damp. And then I'll just like pat it onto my makeup. Guys, literally when I do this, I'm not even lying. My makeup lasts all day. I don't have to touch it up. I don't have to go in the bathroom and like think like my face is going to look disgusting. It looks freaking awesome. I swear if you do this, you will literally thank me. I don't know if it's like for all skin types. I, I don't even know. I don't have like a dry skin. I literally have like normal skin. Um, and not, I don't know. So I, I don't know if it works for everybody else, but I definitely think you should try it and let me know if it works. And if it does, please let me know so I can see what other tips and tricks um, I have for you guys. Um, but yeah, anyways, before I keep talking and don't finish this video, now for lips, we're going to be picking up the Kat Von D Matte Lipstick in the shade Bows and Arrow. Okay guys, and that is the end of today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed today's look. I definitely think this is a beautiful fall look. It has multiple colors, so it has like a few matte shades and a little shimmer. So if you don't want the shimmer, you definitely don't have to add it, but I think it makes it look beautiful. Um, I don't know, I definitely had so much fun recording this video. <laughs> If you guys like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any new suggestions for any new videos or anything you'd like to see on my channel, make sure you comment down below. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.